हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ कृति तिवारी एंड वी आर डूइंग वर्ल्ड वाटर कलर मंथ टुडे इज डे 15 वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड 14 पेंटिंग्स सो दिस इज़ आर थर्ड वीक एंड आई विल हैव वन मोर वीक ऑफ आर्ट वर्क विच सो टोटल 20 पेंटिंग्स वी आर डूइंग फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई यू कैन चेक आउट ऑल द प्रीवियस टूटोरियल्स इन माई प्ले लिस्ट कॉल दस वर्ल्ड वाटर कलर मंथ this one is like a reflection kind of thing right so whatever we have in the sky will have those colors reflected over here as part of the lake okay so we we'll start by wetting the portion for the sky and then we'll uh, take the remaining part of the artwork okay so now the paper is wet and we can add some colors in the sky <clears throat> so let's keep it to a minimum so i'm just thinking blue crimson and violet that's it okay so we are not going to add like two fancy colors so we'll just have like blue crimson and violet and i was thinking about making them dramatic but yeah i want to keep it simple simple i just want to do <clears throat> explain you guys how the reflection would work right and uh, yeah that's it that's what i wanted to do for this one and <clears throat> this is very simple so if you have not checked out the basic classes <clears throat> check out my playlist called as watercolor basics and it talks about variegated wash flat wash right how to blend these colors together so it, it does explain in very simple layman language which is easier for anyone to understand okay so yeah so we just blending both of them together to form a purple okay so i did not picked up ultramarine completely but i did mix ultramarine with cerulean blue and then i did so just you can drag the color completely and then combine it or you can put violet if you have separately in the middle as well okay so now what we are going to do we'll just wet this area which is the lake area okay and it can be of any shape that you like not necessarily what i have done just done sketched it very roughly so we're going to start with our crimson so we'll have a crimson followed by a purple okay and then we'll have some blues and you can like mix and match also something that's sort of okay so would be combination of these colors right okay so while this is done right what we can do we can just wait for this one to dry and then we can add some uh land here and we can think about if what kind of feeling you want to give you want to make it as a night sky you want to make it as a evening sky what really are we trying to paint here right so depending upon what we want to do you can have that color on these sides right um so i wanted to give it as a between something between evening and night is what i'm thinking um but then if it is night uh it won't be like too green is yeah right it would won't be like bright green light uh but it would be a combination of i think viridian or something right so let's say this green i have added like a persian blue in this one and i i want to see as in how it will look okay so we'll we'll see 
so okay not that bad but seems like too dark to me maybe i should have some light color followed by light color maybe right i'm just thinking so where's my green light okay 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 so not that bad right and i can actually lift off some colors and add the color of our choice that we want okay so green i made it like few areas light and uh, we can add some dark bushes maybe right so i can add some dark bushes here right yeah maybe add a paint gray to those bushes is what i'm thinking yeah yeah so not do with green color but can be green as the undertone and then we can have yeah we can have this bushes you think paint gray paint gray yeah it it sounds much better looks even better <laughs> Okay so yeah let's see so see you you saw my approach right so we started painting something um then then i keep thinking about what what should i be because i'm not using any references here just drawing right um from the experience so yeah we just keep analyzing to see what would look better and we'll just extend we'll extend the reflection in the water of the top just a line for the reflection okay so now i really want to wait and see how it is looking and then we'll see if we want to add more details so it's as of now this looks good to me okay now my painting is completely dry but if you see right um there is no depth here like for the grassland right i don't see a depth here and i want to really show the depth okay so how do we show the depth is uh, what we want to think about now okay so there is no depth here like i i can see right so what we can do um take your darker green i'm actually using my persian blue here whenever i am taking the darker green and on these edges right this edges like some edges not not all uh some broken edges right we want to add a darker green color like create a border kind of stuff but not so prominent so we also will have to smudge it later okay like soften it so we also want to soften the edges okay so this is good and maybe i'll just cover this half portion and we'll add stars on top so we'll cover this and i'm just dabbing my brush on paper uh, towel so extra water is off and then we can 
splatter the stars but if the water is too less also the stars won't come out so it's a very thin ratio um, so you have to keep trying and then see okay so yeah splatter right so we have learned the splatter and uh, now we have used this technique quite few times in different artwork so this is one way and then the other way is this so you take two brushes and do this so there are two ways okay so we have learned the first one and then the sixth one so for the reflection here i'm just gonna add few tingles here and there okay just to make sure that we got them right and maybe something like this to show it's like water right yeah and not overdo it so I think that's it. I'm happy with how this has turned out. So you also see right ki how we are adjusting our colors. So same colors we could have adjusted. Uh, like if we have used a like brighter version of these colors, it would be like a day, daytime. But because we were aiming to create the nighttime, we have added those colors. We have muted down those colors. We have made even the grass darker, right? Because we were trying to depict a night and uh, something between night and evening okay hope you enjoyed this one and actually liked uh, there are a lot of techniques involved in this one i hope you were able to get but if there are any doubts that you have uh, please post them in the comment and i would be very happy to answer for you guys and i think that's a wrap that's a wrap for week three wow so we have done like three weeks total 15 paintings so far and i'm so happy i was too nervous that i won't be able to keep the commitment um but yeah it's a good learning as well for me as well right so yeah i think it's pretty good and i enjoyed doing this we have just one more week left so buckle up guys and if you have not completed everything then this is the time right now see you in the next tutorial bye do not forget to like subscribe and share